channel this is Wisco pit bike today we're doing something a little different we're doing the quarantined car show so basically I just got together all of mine and my girlfriend's running vehicles put together a little car show for you guys so we're gonna tell a little bit about each one kind of check them out and I don't know pretty neat though kind of cool having your own little car show and obviously like we got lots more cars around but some of them aren't mine and some of them don't start because of dead batteries and this and that. So we started with what moves, what drives. First up we have the CRF50 clone. Um, I'm actually giving this bike away. Um, to enter to win you can comment on this video, leave a number between 1 and 850 and on June 1st will be the drawing. But basically it's a CRF50 clone. It started out as a like a 2014 SSR 70. Um, bought a new Lifan, I don't know how you say it, 125cc racing engine. Um, got that in November, put new tires on it all the way around. New plastic, new seat, new grips, new bars. Uh, headlight, I put that on there. <laughs> Um, it starts up, runs pretty good. It's a fun little bike. So if you'd like to win this, definitely uh, comment down below. And uh, yeah, drawing will be June 1st. Next we have an SSR 125. Um, haven't had this that long, but I did do the Honda seat and the red and white plastic. Also put a headlight on this one. Um, it could definitely use some new tires. And like we didn't car show prep anything. We didn't wash anything. We just left it all dirty just like it is every day how I use it So that's definitely a pretty fun bike um, Definitely enjoy riding both of them for different reasons Some of or the the bigger bikes better in the woods and this guy's fun just to fuck around on So next up we have my 92 Mazda Miata um, It's 1.6 Runs and drives, it's lowered on Raceland coilovers. I just got this a couple days ago, so we haven't really done too much with that. If you didn't see the burnout and donut video, um, be sure to check that out on my channel. But yeah, it's a pretty clean car. It's got some dings and dents, like this fender's pretty, pretty crinkled. The top's a little rough. Um, it's definitely a project car. Bumper's kind of peeling but it's a lot of fun to drive. Currently it's got a little bit of ticking noises going on, so I'm not really sure what's up with that, if it's like a lifter or if it's rod knock. I don't know, I haven't really drove it too much. I drove it down here from the shop and that's kind of all the farther I wanted to drive it. So we'll be looking into that later on. Next up we have a 2002 RSX Ute. Um, I built this myself out of a uh, Perfectly good RSX. A lot of people really don't like me for doing this, but I have a lot of fun in this car. It's got the uh, 2.0 uh, K20, so pretty neat. Um, I got a homemade extended e-brake for drifting, uh, shift handle, shift knob, whatever you want to call that. Otherwise, the interior is pretty stock. I do have a roll bar in it, so. That's pretty cool. I don't know how much of that you guys can see, but yeah, there's a full roll bar in it. And then we have the back. Um, this car does, or this Ute does have a working tailgate. I gotta get something better for latches because I've just been using these screws like this to hold it on, but folds right down. So then you can, you know, get stuff in there and use it like a Ute. Still needs a little work, it's not finished, but it's mostly just like my off-road fun car. I might put it back on the streets one day. So the next vehicle we have 
is 2008 Dodge Charger. That's my girlfriend's. It's a pretty nice car. Um, it's her daily. It's got the 3.5 HO. It's not too bad. Needs a little little attention. Clear coat starting to peel just a little bit. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but yeah, it's a pretty nice car. Drive it back and forth to town and kind of just a daily. Nothing too special there. A little messy. I also made a shift knob for this thing. Kind of like the one I have in the ute. So that's pretty neat. Again, guys, sorry. We didn't clean any of these. We didn't wash them. We didn't vacuum them. Nothing like that. Just having a little homemade car show. Next up is my girlfriend's 95 Chevy truck. Um, I've had this thing for a couple months. It's got nice shiny new headlights. A uh, little bit of rust. I mean, just, just a little bit. It's only like surface rust mostly. No, no holes or anything. But yeah, she's pretty clean. Got the nice maroon interior. So that's cool. 280000 on this beast and going strong. Everything has pretty much been replaced but the engine at one time in its life. So that's pretty cool. We'll walk around that. And then last but not least, we have my daily. This is a 2002 Chevy 1500. Obviously, she's in immaculate shape. No rust, no dents. This is a pretty good show quality truck right here. Obviously, that's why we put it in the car show. Even got uh, some nice things in the box. So that's always cool. It's got a fancy toolbox. Um, interior's pretty clean. You know, just regular good old Chevy truck. So yeah, guys, that uh, pretty much concludes our little car show until we get some other vehicles jump started and up and running. But if you guys like this video, if you guys are quarantined and have nothing else to do, you have to stay home and you're like me, hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. Be sure to leave uh, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. All of these vehicles are on my channel at one point or another. They're kind of the, the OGs, I guess. The Miata is pretty new, but yeah, if you guys would like to see anything on any of the vehicles, let me know. If you guys have any ideas for further videos, comment down below. If you didn't enter to win the CRF 50, I mean, come on, it's free. Like, it costs you nothing. No strings attached. It'll be a drawing live on my channel June 1st. And whoever gets the lucky number wins. So, I guess I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys all had a good day.